Hi, my name is Andrew. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. And this video is part of a video series where we discuss pitch decks and how to improve them. And I also touch upon my pitch deck review service as well. If you watch my previous videos, you know that you can click the Fiverr link below to get information on investor databases for venture capital, private equity, and angel investors. My database includes venture capital, private equity, and angel investor firms that provide access to investment capital. The database includes more than 90,000 contacts across the USA, UK, Europe, Canada, Asia Pacific, and the Middle East. So check out my Pitch Deck Review service by clicking the link in the description below. And now let's take a look at the video. Welcome to this video on the role of visuals in pitch decks using images and graphics effectively. What is a pitch deck? A pitch deck is a visual presentation that outlines the business products or service, market opportunity, business model, team, and financial projections. It's typically used to pitch to potential investors, whether they're angel investors, venture capitalists, or others. What people often get wrong, using too much jargon and not focusing enough on the audience needs and interests. How to use visuals in your pitch deck. Visuals can make a huge impact on the effectiveness of your pitch deck. They can help to break up text heavy slides, make complex concepts easy to understand, and create more memorable experience for your audience. However, it's important to use visuals in a strategic way. Too many images or poorly chosen graphics can be distracting or confusing. Let's take a look at some of the best practices for incorporating visuals into your pitch deck. Number one, make them relevant. First and foremost, make sure the visuals are relevant to the content of your slide. Avoid using generic stock images or graphics that don't relate to your business or message. There are a lot of services on the internet where you can pick up pretty good images that can relate to your product. But I always like to tell people is take a look at your website, take a look at the stock photos that you may have used in other presentations and use them for your pitch deck. Number two, highlight the key messages. Consider the visual hierarchy of your slide. What should your audience be looking at first? Use size, color, and placement to draw attention to your key message or call to action. Three, don't overload the presentation. And this is probably one of the ones that I get most uh, when I see pitch decks. Again, 80% of the pitch decks that I look at are not suitable to be sent out to investors. When it comes to creating your own graphics, keep them simple and easy to understand. Remember, a lot of white space is not a bad idea. Don't overload the audience with complex charts or diagrams that take too much time to decipher. I find this when I see a pitch deck that gets sent to me for my pitch deck review service, and I'll usually ask them, where did you get this done? Um, if they say that they did it in-house it's usually not too bad but it's usually a mess when it comes to structure where I find a lot of times is they've sent it to somebody on Fiverr maybe they've spent a hundred dollars to have somebody or two hundred dollars to have somebody put it together and that's usually when there's way too much information that's been put in there using fancy in uh, graphics uh, that come from different design services so again try to not overload the presentation Number four, let them complement the message. Remember the visuals are meant to enhance the message and not replace it. Don't rely solely on images to get your point across. Use them to complement your text and reinforce the main ideas. And number five, be consistent. Be consistent with the visual style uh, throughout the pitch deck. For example, if the first three pages are using one type of a style, um, keep that consistent through the rest of the presentation. Uh, choose a color palette and font that aligns with your brand and stick to it. If you've got a modern uh, tech related um, app, let's say, uh, that's part of your presentation, uh, try to keep that consistent with what the rest of the message is. By following these best practices, you can use visuals to make your pitch deck more engaging and memorable for your audience.
but helps on the way. I assist clients with pitching their pitch decks to increase their chances of getting funding. Please note that I do not create them from scratch for this gig. You must have a pitch deck in draft form and I must see it before I can agree to helping you fix it. There's no use me saying, yes, I'm going to fix your pitch deck, uh, go to Fiverr, pay the amount that's being charged and you send me the pitch deck and I look and I go, wow, it's wonderful, it's one of the 20%. So send it to me, let me take a look at it. If there's a few things that I can fix on it without charging you, I'll do that for you. So how can I help you? My main focus is to help you with the following, the content, the structure, and the format. Now notice that doesn't say design and pretty pictures and all that, that's not the goal of this exercise. The goal of the exercise is to get the format, the content, and the structure down. So this includes making sure your pitch deck answers the key questions that a venture capital investor or an angel investor needs to know about your company. Again, I do not assist you with design and there's a lot of people that are really, really good at this, but it's not the most crucial part of the pitch deck. Whenever I'm talking to anyone about pitch decks, I say, just use my draft template. It's a bare bones generic template. Get your content straight, then send it off to the designer. So what does the review consist of? My pitch deck review service consists of the following, a page by page review with comments and suggestions, general suggestions on content, highlighting key errors and omissions, rewriting the areas that do not make sense or are unclear. Note, this does not mean for the entire document. I'm going to clean up the uh, really bad fatal flaws that you have, but that should still be in it. Um, if you have a lot of gobbledygook uh, that doesn't make any sense, I'm not going to create it for you in this gig. I'm going to make general suggestions on the required improvements and suggestion on potential investor marketing strategy if applicable. Uh, now there's a lot I can do for you in this gig and the whole idea is to improve not only your pitch deck but your chances of getting funding. Now the, I take an average of three to four hours per pitch deck review. Um, and hopefully you've got a pitch deck, you've got a business plan, you've got a website, and I also do general industry research. So when I review your pitch deck, I'm not going in blindly. Usually I'm doing a fair bit of uh, work prior to uh, starting the gig, and in most cases, you're going to get your review back in less than 24 hours, depending on time zones and that sort of thing. But usually I'll do the three to four hours and dedicate it all in one sitting, uh, so that you get your review back very quickly. Click my Fiverr link below to get more information on my investor databases for venture capital, private equity, and angel investors. Thank you for watching this video.